Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this 3D pop-out text animation in After Effects without using any third-party plugin. So let's see how to make this. Alright, so I am in After Effects and in order to create this animation, we are going to use the latest version of After Effects. So this is After Effects 2025 and if you are using the older versions, then you won't have the advanced 3D option which we are going to use to create this animation. So make sure to update it. Now over here I have imported an HDRI which I am going to use to light up my scene. Now in order to get an HDRI you can just go to this website polyhaven.com slash HDRIs and from here you can see we have a bunch of different HDRIs you can just pick whatever you want just click on it and after that you can select the resolution whatever you want then make sure that it's an EXR file just click on download and it will download the file after that you can import it in After Effects and you are ready to go. So first we will begin by creating a new composition let's call this one main width and height will be 19 20 by 1080 frame rate 30 fps duration you can pick whatever you want now before you click ok make sure under the 3d render you have advanced 3d option selected again if you're using the older versions then you won't have this advanced 3d so make sure to update it so once we have selected this just click on ok so here we have our composition now we are going to create a solid so right click new let's add a solid and we are going to like make it this blue color just click on ok now we can lock this so that we don't accidentally move it First select the text tool and we are going to type our text so let's type motion and let's align it to the center by using the align panel if you're not able to see this then you can go to windows and from here you can enable it let's select this and make sure that its anchor point is in the center so you can hold on the control key double click on this pan anchor tool also i'm using this montserrat black font so if you have a bolder font then these kind of effects look good so here we have our text now i can press s to scale this down to something like this looks good to me once you have this, we are ready to add our 3D text. So for that, what we are going to do is I'm going to select this. Let's press Ctrl D and onto this layer. We are going to just type the single character, which is M like that. Now I'm going to select this one and let's search for fill and let's drag it over here. We are doing this so that we can see what we are doing and we are going to convert this into 3D. Also, let's add a camera to our scene. So go to layer new and let's add a camera and I'm using this 36 mm. So you can just go over here and select the 35 or 36 mm. Just click on OK. It is 3D, but we want to have some 3D depth to it. So for that, let's open this up under the geometry option. We have the extrusion. I'm going to quickly set this to, let's say 100. So now we will have extreme depth, but since our text is very small, so I'm going to like set this to 100 or maybe like a little bit more. So here you can see we have very nice 3D depth to it. Now we have our first character. Now if I press R, if I rotate it, you can see it is rotating, but it is not rotating from the middle. It is rotating from the starting phase. We can fix that by simply changing our view. So let's go to the top view. And after that, we can select this. Let's press A for anchor point. And since we have added 100 to the extrusion depth, I can just simply set this to 50. So now the anchor point is in the middle. Now if I press R and rotate it, you can see it will rotate from the middle which is exactly what we want now we can click over here and go back to our active camera so here we have our first text and in the same way we can add more text but first let's select this and we are going to align it where we have this text so for that we can press p let's add a keyframe let's press r let's add keyframe for all of these layers and then we can press u now we can just simply move it in the z space like far away so that it matches the size of this text so let's just place it over here and we don't want it to be like extremely precise we want it to be like roughly at this size if you don't want to like move it far away then you can obviously scale this up so i think we this looks good so we have our first letter let's select this press ctrl d and we can type our second letter which is o so let's type o now we can select this and let's just move it to the right side so that it is placed over here now you will notice that these two are like touching each other so we can simply select them let's press s and just scale them down so that they are at their respective position now and they are not touching each other let's press ctrl d and let's type our next text and just place it where we have this text so just repeat this step till you have like created all the characters 
now i have aligned all of my individual characters now we are ready to animate them so before we continue if you enjoy my work and you want to support me then you can check out my patreon page over there you will get access to the tutorial project files exclusive templates and all the other advanced vfx and cgi tutorials that are available only over there so make sure to check them out link for that is in the description now let's continue so we have these and let's select them let's press u to see all the keyframes now we can zoom in and let's go to somewhere around let's say two seconds and then we basically want all of these texts to like come closer to the camera so first let's select our one of these texts so this one and let's just move it closer to the camera so you can just move it in the z space somewhere around here now you can also add some rotation to this just give it a really nice angle also you can see the lighting is not looking good so we can fix that by simply selecting our hdri and let's drag it inside the composition let's place it somewhere over, over here we don't actually have to see it so we can hide this and now let's add a light so right let's go to new and let's add a light and under this make sure you have selected the environment light and i'm going to set the intensity to 100 the rest of things will remain like this just click on ok once we have our environment light from here we can just go to source and select the hdri which we just dropped now you can see it will suddenly change the lighting of this environment now we can press r and we can just rotate our hdri to give it some really nice angle so you can see we can have like different type of lighting conditions so now the light is coming from this side and for this example i want the light to be coming from this side i think this looks good so here we have our character maybe let's give it a really nice angle we can do the same thing with this o as well so let's just bring it closer to our camera and just give it a really nice angle this looks good let's select the t and let's do the same thing with this one as well and now let's rotate it as well there you go now let's do the same thing with the i so now i have changed the orientation of all of these characters let me just quickly select our light and just play with the angle a little bit more so i think this angle looks much better we have some like really dark areas let's just place it far away in this one as well so now i like this orientation and if i press play you can see all of our characters will move in and after that we can like move somewhere around let's say to this point then we can just simply copy these first keyframe and just paste it so that it goes back to its original location so just copy and paste so now all of them go back to their original position now we can play with the easing of everything so select all the keyframes let's press f9 let's go to the graph editor now if your graph looks different then make sure you're using the speed graph not the value graph and for this one we are going to like change it to look like this so we want all of these animations to start like extremely fast in the beginning so i'm going to change the curves to look like that and at the end we want it to like start slow and at last we will have them go back to its original position like this let's press play now you can see they do a very nice pop and then they go back to their original position now you can see that this motion is looking good but the rotation is not matching up what we can do is we can just simply rotate them a little bit more so for example we have this m now over here you can see we have these values but what i'm going to do is i'm going to just simply type one in front of this so that the orientation will remain the same but our text will have like more rotation just like that so what you can do is just simply type one in front of like couple of these keys so for example we can type one over here and one at this let's type one over here one at this and one at this just randomly add one to these letters now if i press play you can see we have the same characters but the animation is much better right now there you go so once we are done with this we are ready to add our simple text so for that we can simply select all of these layers let's just move them like a little bit far away and let's select this text and i'm going to just simply change this to white there you go now we can you can animate the cursor clicking so it's actually quite easy just select this and let's just draw a very rough cursor stroke let's make it black and just increase it a little bit so here we have our cursor we want it to click so let's select this and just press p for position let's add a keyframe and in the beginning we can move it down below and let's go to this point let's move it over here let's press s add a keyframe let's zoom in now just move like two frames ahead 
and then just simply lower it down a little bit then again move like a couple of frames ahead copy and paste it so now if i press play we have our cursor coming in then it clicks we can make it nice by selecting these keyframes easy is them let's just change the curves to look like that and let's add a little bit of more spacing so it comes and then it clicks over here let's just move these keyframes to this point and as soon as it clicks we want these text to pop up so we can just move this over here now we can select this and press ctrl shift t split this and delete this one press ctrl shift t to split this and delete this so now as soon as it clicks you can see our text will become 3d and then it will go back to its original position and as soon as it goes back we can press u now we can select all of these end keyframes and just move them a little bit far away so that so the animation stays a little longer and as soon as it touches over here we can like hold on the alt key and just trim all of these layers by pressing the right square bracket then we can select this press ctrl d and just place it at the end so that we have this text at the back now if i press play you can see we have our text coming in it pops out and then it goes back to its original position so once you're done with this we can add some nice shadow to this as well so for that let's select our solid which we have over here let's press ctrl d to duplicate this now we are going to make this copy 3d then let's press r and we are going to rotate it so let's just rotate it along the x-axis and i'm going to like set this to let's say negative 90 or maybe a little bit like that and just go to this 3d part i can move it down below so you can see we have this very nice shadow now we can scale this up quite a bit now sometimes you won't be able to see the shadows so for in that case then you can just go over here click on this advanced option go to rendering option then make sure that this is set to fit to screen just click on this then click on ok now your shadows will appear and also as our text is moving you can see it will cut somewhere around here so we can select this and let's just press p and just move it to the z space so that our text is visible but you will notice that somewhere around here our shadows go away so again we can go to rendering option and just click on fit to scene you can see now the shadows will appear there you go now we have this very nice shadow so now we are done with our animation and at last we can add a little bit of more character to this by simply offsetting them so let's just offset them by one frame so i'm going to quickly zoom in and let's just offset them by one frame one after other and once you have offset it we can select all of these layers let's go to the very beginning and i'm going to bring them back to this then you can hold on the alt key press the left square bracket so now if i press play you can see the characters will pop out one after other which gives us this more interesting look there you go and after that they go back to their orig original position there is one more thing you can see the background colors are different so we can select this bottom one and let's just apply fill to this this is not 3d one and we can just change the color to this so now you can see our color is even and we will have this very nice shadow over here so this is how you can create these kind of 3D text popping effect in After Effects without using any third party plugin. Now the project files for this tutorial is available on Patreon. So if you are supporting me over there, then you can download it from there. And if you are not, then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files, exclusive templates and all the other advanced VFX and CGI tutorials that are available only on Patreon. So make sure to check them out. Link for that is in the description. And with that being said, my name is Abhishek and I'll see you in the next one.